Women aren't nearly as complicated as men think they are. Honestly, pretty much everything she struggles with in your relationship, even as she would confess, fits into one of the following three categories. Hello, I'm Dr. Debbie, and simply put, I'm here to help you make sense of the woman you love. So let's jump right in on today's topic, what a woman wants. The first thing a woman wants is to know that she's more precious to you than anything else. No, she does not want to run your life. She just wants to know by the reliability of your words and your actions that she's always at the top. Her hope and prayer is that she runs a very close second to God. You probably don't realize just how important your opinion is to her. Despite how it may seem, much of her self-esteem depends on what she thinks you think of her. Not what you actually think of her, but what she thinks you think of her. And she makes that determination based on your behavior, all you choose to do or choose not to do in regard to her. The good news is that cherishing her is actually much simpler than you realize, and it's something that you already have a natural desire to do, and that is be her hero. All men love to be heroes, so it comes naturally to you to behave like a knight in shining armor to every woman you meet, whether it's the little lady who can't reach the last can of hoo-hash on the top shelf at the market, to the gal with a flat tire who can't figure out the air machine at the gas station, and even to your grandmother. But as a romantic partner, you may have forgotten the importance of being gallant, chivalrous, courteous, polite, gentlemanly, thoughtful, gracious, suave, towards her, especially if it seems like she doesn't appreciate you. So if you want her to follow your lead, the first thing you'll need to do will be to put forth some extra effort in helping her realize that you are, first and foremost, her knight, and that she is the one lady that you cherish above all others. I can't emphasize this enough. This part is absolutely crucial if she is, or if you want her to be, your wife and lover. If you haven't been gallant for a while, there's no way you can go into this expecting an immediate payoff. Winning her trust will take some time. That is, you'll need to convince her that you're treating her well just because you love her and that you're not trying to get something in return, like sex. Whatever you do, remember that it's simply your gift to her. Then be sure to act accordingly. Be encouraged. Sex is essential for both of you, and I explain more about that in chapter 26 of my book, which you can get on Amazon, but more about that later. So where can you begin? Well, every girl knows that a hero does simple, everyday things to make you feel special. He opens the door for you and allows you to enter a room first. He pulls out a chair for you at the table. When you go to a restaurant, even if it's only your local Subway sandwich shop, he asks what you would like. Then he places your order for you, saying, the lady will have, and adding his own order last. Very sweet and very, very irresistible. He makes eye contact with you when you're talking, which clearly communicates that all he cares about at this moment is you. He looks into your eyes and derives great pleasure in just seeing you looking back at him. He gives you a hug, not because he wants sex, but because he finds you so adorable. And if he wants to take it over the top, he'll ask you to dance with him. There are so many ways you can help keep your relationship alive and well through fun and friendship. So be creative. But honestly, guys, in my humble opinion, dancing is the absolute best. Even if you have two left feet, she will love you for your honest efforts. So why not give it a try? Be on the lookout for more clues that she's missing her own knight in shining armor. And if you're not sure, start being gallant anyway. Who says you need a clue to do that? The next point, this is a really simple one. 
Women spend a lot of time, energy, and money trying to look just as pretty as they can. And as she gets older, she'll start doubting that she could still be attractive to the opposite sex. If she's already yours, or if you want her to be yours, you won't want some other guy beating your time. So tell her yourself that she's pretty and are cute on a daily basis. Of course, you must be absolutely, positively sincere about whatever you say. Flattery is cheap and meaningless, and she'll see right through it. Don't go there. Trust me, it's simply not worth the price. Be on the lookout for clues that she's questioning her attractiveness. Then pay her a sincere compliment each and every day. But who says you need a clue to do that, right? Finally, a woman's feelings can get hurt very easily, especially by the man she loves. Her feelings are important and she needs you to appreciate that about her. In fact, feelings are primary for most women. When our feelings get hurt, we go into defensive mode and everyone knows the best defense is a good offense. If you'd like to know how to handle this one, and it comes up far more frequently than you realize, then you'll want to memorize the steps to take care of that that are clearly explained in my book, Ephesians 5 Romance, which is available on Amazon. In the meantime, would you like to know how to win some bonus points? If your woman is having a bad day, Take her hands in yours and pray for her out loud. Speak words of blessing over her using scripture to remind her how much the Lord loves her. It will be a life-changing moment for you both. I'll be back again in a few days with another lesson. Subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss it. But if you're eager to learn more now, you can download that book I've been talking about from Amazon. It's also available in softcover. I'll put the link below and see you again real soon.